The macOS App Switcher is a simple but powerful multitasking tool. It's activated by using the keyboard shortcut Command Tab. Doing this brings an overlay up that displays the icons of all the apps that are currently running on your Mac. If an app has been quit, it's not going to appear here. If an app has been hidden, it will appear. The apps are arranged with the currently active app on the far left, and then the previously active app, and so on, to the right. Releasing the command key will jump into the currently selected app. The previously active app is the one that gets highlighted. This can make it super quick to switch between two different apps. In this case, I'm switching between Safari and Calendar. Each press of the tab key is going to move to the next app. Then just release to move that app to the front. This means that the app's name is going to appear up in the menu bar. Rather than using the tab key to move through our open apps, we can also use the left or right arrow keys. Or we can use our trackpad or mouse pointer to select an app. When an app is highlighted in the App Switcher, press the up or down arrow key to invoke App Exposé. This will display all the windows that that app has open, as well as recently opened documents from that app below. Here we have an open window and recently opened files from the TextEdit app. And now we can jump over to Pixelmator Pro, where I have two windows open, and then below recently opened Pixelmator Pro documents. From the App Switcher, we're able to quickly hide the selected app with a press of the H key, and we can quit an app with a press of the Q key. We're even able to open files using the App Switcher. If I jump into a Finder window and select this PDF, as I start dragging it, I'll hit Command Tab and move that file over the Preview app icon. Release and that PDF launches in preview. Becoming familiar with the App Switcher and Command Tab can boost your efficiency when using multiple apps with your Mac. It can definitely save time versus accessing apps from the Finder, the Dock, Spotlight, or even Mission Control.